Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be looking at all of my Create Your Own dolls. I currently have seven of them, three of which I made on my own, and four of which I got at the American Girl Benefit Sale. So these are the dolls that I have, and I want to kind of order them in my favorites and least favorites. Make sure if you guys haven't already to go down below to my pinned comment. I'll have a bunch of video suggestions, and you guys can vote on which video you want to see next. One of the video options will be my Rainbow High collection. So that would be one video. As you guys know, I am entirely an American Girl based channel. I don't make videos about anything else, but I thought because I have had requests about my Rainbow High that I might do one video just showing you guys all of the ones that I own. If you guys are not interested in that, no big deal. I'd rather know that and just not post it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. The first doll we'll be taking a look at today is Senna. So this is Senna. She is a create your own that I got at the benefit sale. And even though she is technically the last on this list, she's still so cute. And it just goes to show like how many adorable create your owns I have and like how adorable the line is overall because this doll is gorgeous. She has such beautiful eyes. And I really wanted to make this video just to spotlight my create your owns because I haven't really had a great opportunity to actually dive in depth and talk about all of them. So this is Senna. She has hazel eyes, light skin, like the second to lightest skin tone, so not like Blair's, but the next one. She's got the medium length, light brown hair, and bangs, and the dress mold, obviously. So about her, I mean, she was the first doll that I chose from the benefit sale, so obviously when I picked her out, I thought she was going to be my favorite. It's just not that she's not adorable, it's just the other ones surprised me so much and I just love them so much. I bought her with the intention of making her paternal twins with my truly mean number 54, whose name is Sutton, and that might still happen, I haven't really decided yet. I am going to put them together in my next All My Dolls video so you guys can see them, but yes, this is Senna, and she comes in at doll number 7. In sixth place, we have Parker. Parker is a create your own with the Josefina mold, freckles, dark brown eyes, light brown hair, and it's kind of that medium length straight hair. And the thing about Parker is that I think if I didn't already have Truly Me number 28, she'd probably be like one of my favorite dolls ever. But because of the fact that I already owned 28, she looks very similar to her, so there's not like a ton that's different. And so while she's gorgeous, I can't rank her super high because she is kind of like just a slight variation of a doll that I already had. But that being said, I love her. She's got a really pretty skin tone. I'm not really sure which one it is, but I think it's probably the third from the bottom. So a little bit darker than the light skin, but she's definitely not like super tan or anything, but very, very pretty. I love her skin tone. Um, her eyes are gorgeous. I love the freckles and her hair length is like my favorite hair length for dolls to have super fun to do things with but it also looks really cute down so really easy to manage and I absolutely love Parker but because of all the dolls in front of her and how much I am obsessed with all of them she came in at spot number six. Coming up next this is Octavia and she is a medium skinned create your own doll with long dark brown hair that's straight, hazel eyes, I believe the fourth skin tone and just really beautiful features. She's got a Sonali mold, she's stunning. Um, she was the second doll I picked out at the benefit sale, and I really love her eyes, I love her hair. I mean, it's just a really good combination. I think it's a very unique look to her, and it makes her look very stunning and striking. Um, her eyes stand out a lot because of her color combination, and I really think she's just a gorgeous doll. I'm very, very happy to have her, and I think whoever designed her made really great decisions. So as far as Octavia, the reason why she comes in at spot number five is because, like I said, I mean, the dolls that I created myself, they're custom tailored to what I wanted at the moment, so those are always going to be a little bit higher than something that I didn't design. Well, probably. You guys will see in a minute. But seriously, she's stunning. If I hadn't designed any of my dolls, she'd probably be one of the top because she's just so pretty and I love her. So that places Octavia in spot number five. Remember when I said that the top four were going to be ridiculously difficult and that no other doll that I didn't design was ever going to be in the top three? Well, I take that back. This is my doll, Versailles, and Versailles was the create your own that I designed for my birthday this last year. By the way, my birthday is coming up again, so you guys should let me know down below what doll you think I should get or design. I haven't decided yet. I gotta do that soon because I don't have, if I make a create your own, I have like a month. So, anyway. 
This is Versailles. She was a stunning doll. She's got the third skin tone from the bottom. She's got freckles, light blue eyes, the light red long wavy hair, and the Sonali mold. And let me tell you, when I created this doll, I was blown away. I didn't expect to love her as much as I do. I don't know why, I just kind of thought like, oh, she would never make, like she'd never live up to Coven. But she has in a lot of ways. She comes in at number four, which like I said, I created three Create Your Own. So the fact that she's number four says volumes about one of the dolls in the top three. In spot number three, we have Ocean. So this is Ocean. She's the most recent Create Your Own that I actually designed. And I love everything about Ocean. I'm completely obsessed with her. Like she is literally every feature that I wanted to put in a doll. Like every feature that I thought I needed more of and I put it all together. So Ocean has the darkest skin tone and I love it because it's very similar to Addie's. I don't have a ton of dolls with the darkest skin tone just because American Girl hasn't made a ton of them. So I'm really excited to have a create your own like this. She's got freckles, which I think is so cute and it's very subtle because of her skin tone. So you don't really see it until you look really closely at her. She's got stunningly bright light blue eyes, which I just think it's so striking because of how dark her other features are. And she has the long natural curls, which are my favorite, you guys will see. And Ocean, like I said, I mean, when I opened her, I squealed, I fell in love with her. She is going to be one of the dolls that I keep forever for all of time and so many dolls will never live up to her. And it's crazy to me that she is somehow in spot number three, but this is Ocean, she's in spot number three and it, I mean, this is so hard. This is such a hard video to make, guys. This is Lola. Lola is a Create Your Own that I got at the benefit sale. She was the very last doll that I picked out. The reason why is because she was one of the very last that was left at the benefit sale. No one had bought her for several hours and she was left. And her eyes are so beautiful. The reason why I didn't grab her right away is because she has a shine mark on her nose. She didn't look very great in the pictures. And so she was a very last minute impulse buy for me. But let me tell you, she's clearly worth it because she's number two in all of my Create Your Owns. So Lola's features are the lightest blonde hair, short curly style. She's got medium skin tone. I believe it's the same as, I want to say Versailles, so it's probably the third option. So she is very tan. She doesn't have any freckles, but she has the jess mold and the light blue eyes. So she's just really beautiful and stunning. And I don't know what it is about this doll, but she's kind of like Kanani, but like a little bit more like sunshine-ish, if that even makes sense. But I don't know, I'm completely obsessed with her from the moment that I put her in this outfit. I mean, it was just, it just clicked just like that. I was like, there's no going back. This doll is going to be in my top five forever. And I mean, I just don't see that ever changing. So somehow a doll that I didn't even create, somehow this doll beat two dolls that I made after so much time and effort and thought and two dolls that I love a ridiculous amount. She's somehow a little bit about them. So this is Lola and she is in spot number two. And finally, in spot number one, we have none other than the icon, Coven. So Coven was my very first Create Your Own doll and she's a Jess mold. She's got freckles. She's got the, uh, I think, fourth skin tone. She's got the long natural curls in the shade dark brown. I mean, she's everything. She's got one gray eye and one brown eye and she's every design I ever wanted to put in a doll all at once. And I'm so, so happy with her. Clearly she has stood the test of time. She's still my favorite Create Your Own. Probably still one of my favorite dolls I have ever owned. And I'm so, so happy to have her. It's crazy that she's been my favorite for this long and that she is somehow been able to outshine all my other Create Your Own dolls for this long. And maybe not for everyone. I'm sure there are other dolls that I have put in lower places that some of you guys are like, no way, they're so much better than Coven. But to me, Coven just holds such a special place in my collection and just, she's so cute. So Coven comes in at spot number one. So before I head out for the day, I just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and join the family. Leave a comment down below letting me know which video you guys want to see next. And thank you guys for bearing with me through this entire month. I have had a lot of issues, including technology issues and sickness issues. So I haven't been able to post, which has been so sad. But the good news is I have a ton of videos backed up and ready to go. I've got so many ideas and so many things that I want to do. So this was just the start of that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all later this week for another video. Bye guys!